Hi, welcome to Play Along. The topic today is the secret of winning in checkers. I have a point in my hand, at least that's what I call it. It's used for the iPad, but it has a secret. You can open it up and it becomes a pen. This is similar to the game of checkers. Once the ideas are revealed to you, they no longer become secrets, but tools that you can use to win. Here is a book, The Secrets of the Checkerboard by Tom Wiswell. It has many ideas and ways of winning. Here's another book, The American Checkerist. Uh, you open it up here, it says, Seven Secrets of Success. Ideas how to make you a better player and to win. A long time ago, there was a young boy around six years old. He watched while his dad played chess with friends. A few years later, he was winning his games. He later grew up to be the world chess champion. His name is Jose Raul Capablanca. He was asked by a reporter, how many moves do you see ahead? He said, only one, but it's always the correct one. Today, we're going to use that idea in a checker example. White to Move and Win by Tom Wiswell. Uh, we're go you're going to be white. In order to find the right move, we need to first to look at the position. Here we see you as white. You have a check on 32 and 30. That's a strong bridge position. You also have a check on 5 that, when it's safe, can become a king. Red has his checkers in the center. Uh, in the middle of the board. And he also has a check on 28, which is the dog hole that can become a weakness, cannot move because the checker, you have a check on 32. But first, you need to find the correct move. So you ask yourself, what is white, why is red threatening? Well, red is threatening to jump these two your two checkers here. So now you have to eliminate moves. You could play 14 to 9, but you're already going to get a king, and you want to speed your development. Or you can go 22 to 17, cover up and keep the pressure. You go 22 to 17. Now red needs to try to break up the strong bridge position, and he goes 10 to 15. Again, you go through your routine. Uh, is red threatening anything? No. Okay, it's safe. We go in and get a king. Five to one. Here red goes 24 to 19. And is he threatening anything? No. We come out, go one to six. Here red goes seven to 11. Can we attack him? We check. He's not threatening anything. We can't attack him. You go 6 to 10. We're looking one move at a time. Red moves out of the way, 15 to 19. Here, the check on 11. Can we attack him and gain the tempo? 10 to 7. Red goes 11 to 16. Can we attack the check on 8 successfully? Is red threatening anything? No. We go 7 to 3. And now red goes 8 to 12. Again, we're always looking at the position. Here we spot that red has a check on 16 and 24 and can be attacked simultaneously uh, by a shot or combination. What is, is red threatening anything now? Yes, he's threatening to go 23 to 26. When you jump, he jumps and he'll get his kings for a draw. It's time to use a bag of tricks, an idea or theme. In this case, it's called the in and out shot. You see it? White goes 30 to 26. Red jumps 23 to 30. And his turn is... And red gets a king. His turn is over. We go 3 to 7, a waiting move. We allow him to jump. He jumps 1. We, want to, we go 14 to 10. He jumps. And now we slip back with... 
jumps, seven to two. A combination, he jumps, we jump for a triple. And we're still down the checker, but because of this weakness, we have to win. But it goes 12 to 16, you squeeze 27 to 24, so he's forced to go 19 to 23, and now you have an in-between move called a, a breach. You go 24 to 19, let's force 23 to 26, you jump for a checker, now you're even. Red goes in, gets his king, and now we go 12 to 16, Red goes 31 to 26, his only move. He goes 16 to 19, 26 to 31. And we're always looking for the correct move. 19 to 23 would be incorrect because we allow Red to supply for a draw. We're still going to keep the opposition, but it's going to be a distance operate, uh, opposition. We go 19 to 15, so we keep an eye on him from a distance. When he goes 31 to 26, now we go opposition. Keep an eye on him. When he goes 31 to 26, all we need to do is a diagonal opposition to win. We go 18 to 22, and Red is trapped and, re and resigns. The, secrets, the secret of winning in checkers, could it be that simple? Finding the correct move, but find it every time? Tuesday is Valentine here in America. Uh, Jill and I... Uh, would like to extend a happy Valentine to all. And thank you for watching this video.